Okay, I'm, I'm guessing the base is loaded one out. You've got to get some sort of shift into those spots where I have sack fly or something, right? Mm -hmm. Close to it. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're sort of, that's the, what we're trying to do, no doubt, Kev, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't get just that far behind these guys. I mean, they're, they're, they're a good enough team that you can't, you gotta, you gotta stay up to them. And, you know, we made a nice run at them and, um, couldn't stop them after that. You know, just with Montero, I know his walk rate was up a little bit this year compared to what it was, which was microscopic before that. But is this just adjusting to the league? What, what have you seen from him as far as being able to control? Well, um, certainly his history is that he's a strike thrower. Um, one of the things I'm going to add, and you know, I always like to wait till the next day to talk to him, but you know, I want to find out what he's trying to what he's what he's trying to do because if he's trying to pitch to the corners, um, you know, it's a lot of times in this league you got to earn those, you got to earn the corners here, you know, and so it, once the umpire knows that you know you'll you'll pound that strike zone, he'll give you some stuff. But um, you know, he fell behind a lot tonight. Uh, that's why he threw a lot of pitches. So. We've got to get him to, uh, you know, realize that he's good enough to, to get strike one and, and go from there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure you'll see more if you watch the tape, too, because your angle, I don't know. But, but can a young pitcher um, get in trouble just with nibbling, too? He can, of Kevin, and that's the thing. You know, you've got to, have, you've got to believe your stuff's good enough. And, and if you start nibbling, and again, when you face the quality hitters they have, you know, they're not going to go fishing early in the count. So they're going to make you come on the plate, and that's why I say I mean, he's had a – Certainly, history of stuff as we've seen when he, you know, when he attacks hitters, he gets, you know, they don't they don't hit the ball all that hard. It's when he gets when he gets behind and and now it, now they're hunting a pitch and they get the pitch. That's when they do all the damage. Terry, is uh, the pace of game something to be concerned about? I'm sorry. The pace of games is it something to be concerned about or something because. Your pitches well, seem to take a long time. Everybody's pitches seems to take a long time. Four hours to play nine innings. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Kevin. The answer to that is yeah. There's, it's an issue with the league. It's an issue with everybody. Um, you know, there's always those games, just like tonight, where you know you're got. We use a lot of pitchers trying to keep stay or keep ourselves in the game and trying to uh, keep a game close, and that always eats up a lot of time, also. But uh, when you throw a lot of pitches like we did, when you know we we walked six and hit a guy and. Um, that's going to make long nights. Just to piggyback off that, Terry, you know, how, how do the players deal with that? How do they stay fresh, stay alert when, you know, there's four inning pitching changes and both teams are emptying their benches, both that sort of thing? Uh, I don't know. It's your job, Stone. You don't fall asleep during your job, do you? We don't either. We don't either. You know, we, we're not, we don't stress them out that much to worry, have them worry about dozing off in the, in the 11 o'clock. Can you at least try to build off of a couple home runs tonight? Like considering yeah, no doubt. No doubt. It was a big inning. I mean, there were some really good swings in that inning. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought that was a certainly, you know, again, to come back, Josh is pitching very, very well, and to get some runs off him and, um, you know, got us right back in again. That's why I said, you know what, I, I actually thought if we, if we kind of stayed within a couple runs, we had a fighting chance. Um, that's why I use a lot of pitchers. Sorry, Kev, but I had to use a lot of pitchers to keep it close. Kevin, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, Mike, Mike. Mike. Terry, Terry uh, twice you get the bases loaded there. Uh, is, is that almost as frustrating as Montero not being able to find the strike zone? Well, again, Mike, we can, you know, we'll, we'll have that same discussion throughout the year where, you know, you know, when you don't drive runs in those situations, it is a little frustrating. But that's why I say, I mean, you, you know, we're lucky they didn't drive too many runs in. They had a few guys on base tonight, too. So, um, you know, and again, at the end of the year, as I've said, you're always going to, everybody's going to go back and talk about situational hitting. You know, everybody's going to talk about you got to use the middle of the field and you got to drive those extra runs in. And, and that has certainly come, that has certainly one, been one of our things here early in the year that we have not done is drive some, drive those runs in in, in those situations.